Hello and welcome to part one of how to build a radio station. My name's Andy Cooper and you may recognise me from the Andy's Shed channel but this is something new. We are here at Plesley Vale Business Park on the uh, border of uh, Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire in the beautiful and historic Mill 3 at Plesley Vale um, where we are going to set up a radio studio from scratch and we're going to do it on a tight budget. Now I've got a bit of a background in radio, I've done stuff for various local community radio stations and that. I've also got a bit of a background in broadcast, um, I've been involved with television shows and all that kind of thing over the years. But what we're going to do here, we are going to try and set up a professional radio station that looks professional and sounds professional and we're going to do it on a tiny budget so hopefully it's something that people out there can do anybody who's wanted to try running a radio station it doesn't cost a lot of money and it can sound brilliant so we are here we've rented this room which is currently fairly empty if I turn around except for on a temporary desk down there at the minute you'll see we've got two broadcast radio mixers now these are the first thing that we've moved in they are Soundcraft Series 10S uh, mixers um, beloved by small radio stations some fairly large radio stations as well um, but particularly by community radio stations here in the UK um, we've got two the one you're looking at now is one that's probably going to be a source of spares and this other one here this one is fully working or at least fairly fully working there's just one or two little things on it that need to be uh, need to be looked at um, but yeah the, these are Soundcraft mixers um, and they are excellent uh, I've used Soundcraft mixers before these are proper broadcast quality machines um, it, you can tell because the zero on the faders is right at the very top uh, very often um, audio mixers have uh, numbers and then they'll have zero somewhere in the middle and then they'll have a plus number at the top and a minus number at the bottom. These have got a zero right at the top, uh, which is common to broadcast mixers. Um, um, so there you go. So of course that's how you operate them. Um, I'll not go through exactly what these mixers do today. We'll do that uh, on a future episode. But uh, these are going to be the heart of the radio station. So it's the first thing you need really when you're thinking of setting up a radio station. You need to get yourself a decent mixer. These are second hand. In fact they may even be third, fourth or fifth hand. Because the guy that I got them from that ran a radio station. I don't think he bought them new. So, yeah, these are the Soundcraft mixers. There's not much of anything else in the room at the moment. Um, but it's, it looks like a relatively big room, but I don't think it'll look big once we start putting stuff in it. And of course, when you're moving in, one thing that is absolutely vital is a dolly with wheels on like that so you can move stuff in easily one thing about being at a nice place like this is we've got a really good view from the window um, you'll see they are some of the outbuildings associated with the mill the mill is an absolute huge place you can see part of the main building there that sticks out absolutely massive place and today the weather is not terribly great 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at PVR and at what we're going to be doing. Um, as I say, this is just the beginning. This really is just the beginning of it. Um, literally, just move the mixers in today. Um, next thing is we've got to get some proper furniture because this grotty old table that the mixers are standing on at the minute uh, is just a temporary fold-up thing. We're going to get some some nice office furniture for them to sit in or even be mounted into because you can mount these mixers actually into a desktop you can cut a hole in the desktop and mount them in um, so that is probably going to be the next job so it's saturday today i think we're going to be doing that on monday